Frenchman Daniel O'Donnell. Hello there. Well, I'd be glad of your company for the next hour or so as we take a short trip around Ireland, stopping off at some of the places that I play at from Cork to Donegal. In the job that I do, you get to see a lot of the country and you know it really is lovely. Back in the early 60s, American country singer Johnny Cash came here for the first of his many tours. He was so taken with the beauty of Ireland that he sat down and wrote this next song. I close my eyes and picture the emerald of the sea From the fishing boats at Dingle to the shores of Dunedee I miss the river Shannon and the folks at Skibbereen the moorland and the meadows with their forty shades of green but most of all I miss a girl in Tipperary town and most of all I miss her lips as soft as eider down again I want to see and do the things we've done and seen Where the breeze is sweet as Shalimar And there's forty shades of green I wish that I could spend an hour At Dublin Turning surf. I'd love to watch the farmers drain the bog and spit the turf to see again the patching of the straw the woman gleam. I'd walk from Cork to Larne to see forty. 
Whenever I get a break from travelling, I love to head north to County Donegal. It's God's country, you know, where beautiful mountains and miles of deserted golden beaches provide a peace and tranquility and a sense of belonging that I can't find anywhere else. Isn't it lovely here? Well, I suppose I'm a wee bit biased, cos I come from Donegal, you see and my family has lived here for generations. That's Owey Island where my mother came from, and I spent many happy childhood holidays there. It was inhabited up until just a few years ago, but nobody lives there anymore. This is the place where I was born and brought up, the village of Kincastle. And you know, when I was a wee boy, I thought this was a city. But as I've travelled, I've come to realise that there's not many places smaller. But it's still home to me, and if you ever make it this far, I want you to remember that there's always a fire in the kitchen, and there's always a kettle on the boil. <laughs> There's always a fire in the kitchen There's always a kettle on the boil There's no fancy carpets or no telephone But the one thing our house is a home A stranger is always welcome Be it any time of night or day So don't ever Sad or lonesome Just call as you pass on your way There's always a fire in the kitchen There's always a kettle on the boil There's no fancy carpets or no telephone But the one thing our house is a home happy and sad times but it still remains through it all though times may have changed all around it there's still a word of welcome in the hall there's always a fire in the kitchen there's always a kettle on the boil there's no fancy carpets or no telephone, but the one thing our house is a home. There's no fancy carpets or no telephone, but the one thing our house is a home. Well, from Donegal to Dublin town. When I'm not touring abroad, I spend most of my time here in Dublin. It's a city that I'm getting used to, full of life and good humour. It's a friendly place where most of the inhabitants are people like myself, cultures up from the country. 
A few years ago, Pete St. John wrote a song that's become an anthem for the city. So if you'll forgive a country boy for having a go at this song and paying tribute to Dublin and the rare old times. Raised in songs and stories, heroes of renown, the passing tales and glories that once was Dublin town. The hallowed halls and houses, the haunting children's rhymes that once was Dublin city. In the rare old times Ring a ring a rosy As the light declines I remember Dublin City In the rare old times My name it is Sean Dempsey as Dublin as can be Born hard and lit in Pimlico In a house that ceased to be By trade I was a cooper Lost out to redundancy Like my house that fell to progress My trade's a memory I heard the Peggy Dyken As pretty as you please A roving child of Mary From the rebel liberties I lost her to a student chap With skin as black as coal When he took her off to Birmingham She took away my soul Ring a ring a rosy As the light declines I remember Dublin City In the rare old times The years have made me big the gargoyles dim me brain Cause Dublin keeps on changing And nothing seems the same The pillar and the met have gone The royal long since pulled down As the grey unyielding concrete makes a city of our town Fare thee well, sweet Anna Liffey I can no longer stay And watch the new glass cages Spring up along the quay Me mind's too full of memories Too old to hear I'm a part of what was Dublin in the rare old times. Ring a ring a rosy as the light declines. I remember Dublin City. I remember Dublin City in the rare old times. Percy French was one of Ireland's greatest songwriters with a wealth of songs to his credit. He wrote this next one in the early 1900s and it takes the form of a letter from an Irish emigrant recently arrived in London. 
He's writing to Mary, his girlfriend back home, and I, like so many new emigrants, he's lonesome and wishful to be where the mountains of Morn sweep down to the sea. By day and by night They don't sow potatoes Nor barley nor wheat But there's gangs of them digging For gold in the streets At least when I asked them That's what I was told So I just took a hand At this digging but for all that I found there, I might as well be where the mountains of morn sweep down to the sea. I believe that when writing, I wish you expressed as to how the fine ladies in London if you believe me when asked to a ball fit they don't wear no tops to their dresses at all oh, I've seen them myself and you could not in truth say if they were bound for a ball or a bath don't be starting now Mary McCree Where the mountains of morn Sweep down to the sea You remember young Peter Old Loughlin, of course Well, he's over here At the head of the force Sure, I met him Today I was crossing the strand and I stopped the whole street with one wave of his hand. There we stood talking of days that are gone while the whole population of London looked on. But for all his great Hours. He's wishful like me to be back where the dark moons sweep down to the sea. Lovely complexions, all roses and cream. But O'Loughlin remarked, with regard to the same, that if I had those roses you ventured to sip, the colors might all come away on your lips. So I'll wait for. Sweep down to the sea. Thank you very much. This time we're going to do a song that was written by Hugh Donahue from County Cavan. And it expresses the feelings of a singer or a band as they travel out of Ireland and sing for those people who have had to emigrate for one reason or another. It's called Far, Far From Home. We'll say farewell tomorrow And we'll leave you for a while For our music it will take a 
himself far, far from this green isle to sing in places we haven't been and the ones that we well know. And we'll always meet the boys from home wherever we may go. We'll be singing songs of Ireland to the folks in Camden Town when we play guitars in Boston bars the friends will gather round we'll be telling of the homeland from where they've had to roam when we get our sights on Sydney sights we'll be far with our music it's what we love to do and although we sometimes leave this land we still return to you and we're proud that we can take a farm and leave Well, here we are in the shade of the Sugarloaf Mountains in County Wicklow, the Garden of Ireland. It's a perfect setting for a lovely old ballad. I'll take you home again, Kathleen. I'll take you home again, Kathleen, across the ocean wide. Where your heart has ever been Since first you were my loving bride The roses all have left your cheek Eyes. Oh, I will take you back, Kathleen, to where your heart will feel no pain. And when the fields are fresh and green, Nothing dear but you 
the smiles that once you gave to me. I scarcely ever see them now, though many, many times I see a dark in shadow on your brow. Throughout Ireland every year there are many summer festivals that take place in towns and villages the length and breadth of the country. One of the better known of these festivals takes place right here in Dunlow, where girls come from all over the world to compete for the title of Mary from Dunlow. And this year, a girl from County Donegal took that title. Carmel Kelly, how are you? I'm very well, Daniel, thank you. You must be just delighted having won Mary from Dunlow. Indeed I am. I'm honoured to take the title this year. C can you tell us a wee bit about what you might have to do for the rest of the year? Will you have special duties as Mary from Dunlow? Well, it'll involve travelling. and In travelling I'll be representing County Donegal itself and indeed Dunlow as the representative of Mary from Dunlow uh, in Ireland and across the water as well. And what does Mary from Dunlow do, or better still, what does Carmel Kelly do when she's not being Mary from Dunlow? I'm a physical education teacher and I will be taking up my first post in Monaghan later this year. Very good. Well, Carmel, I hope you enjoy the next year and I know wherever you go, you'll represent Dunlow and indeed Ireland. 
perfectly. And I don't want you to leave me yet because I want to sing a song specially for you. Thank you very much. I 
share your love and dreams that once were true. Send me the pillow that you dream of. So. Send me the pillow that you dream on, so darling I can dream on the truth. So. In the early 1950s, Dick Farley wrote a song that found its way to Bing Crosby, who recorded it. It became a million seller and one of his biggest hits. It's a song that returns to that familiar theme of an emigrant pining for his home place. And the home place in question this time is here in County Sligo, the beautiful Isle of Inishfree. <laughs> I've met some folks who say that I'm a dreamer And I no doubt there's truth in what they say For sure a body's bound to be a dreamer When all Loves are far away, and precious things are dreams unto an exile. They take him to a land across the sea, especially when it happens. He's an exile from that dear lovely I love in Ishfree. And when the moonlight peeps across the rooftops of this great city, one Scarcely see the beauty or the magic. I'm once again back home in Ishfree. I wonder. And find a peace no other land could know. I hear the birds make music fit for angels, and see the rivers laughing as they flow, and then into. A humble shack, I wonder. My own sweet home, and tenderly behold the 
the folks I love around the turf fire gathered on bended knee the rosary is told but dreams don't last though dreams are not forgotten when we are back to stare reality and though they pave the footpaths here with gold dust I still would choose my I love in is free I still would my I love in is free Well, from County Sligo and in is free to County Kerry and Tralee. I mentioned earlier on about the festivals that take place around Ireland every summer, and I'm sure the other towns will forgive me when I say the most famous of all festivals takes place here in Tralee. It's a week of non-stop party atmosphere when the town welcomes girls from all over the world who come to compete for the title of the Rose of Tralee. I'm looking forward to meeting some of those girls and of course singing the song. The pale moon was rising above the green mountains The sun was declining beneath the blue sea When I strayed with my love to the pure crystal fountain That stands in the beauty she was lovely and fair as the rose of the summer yet was not her beauty alone that won me oh no it was the truth in her eyes ever dawning that made me of trolley The cool shades of evening their mantles were spreading when Mary all smiling sat listening to me the valley her pale rays were shedding when I won the heart of the rose of Trilly. she was lovely and fair as the rose of the summer yet was not her beauty alone that one the truth in her eyes ever dawning that made me love Mary the rose of Trolley that made me love Mary the rose of Trolley Well, we've almost come to the end of our trip around Ireland and you know I've had a great time and what better place for me to finish than up in my own Donegal. For me, its unique scenery and friendly people have a special kind of magic and of course, no matter where I travel or wherever I live, 
it'll always be home. One of my favourite places in Donegal is Arnmore Island. I used to come here when I was a wee boy on holidays and when I started with my own band, it was one of the first places that I came to play. And every year we come back to enjoy a night of song and dance with the people of Arnmore. And as the ferry approached the island, I was surprised and delighted with the turnout of people that had gathered to greet us. Familiar faces and friendly smiles give me once again that sense of belonging that I always feel when I come to Iron Moor. And sure, how could I refuse the request to sing a I verse or two? I've travelled far neath the northern star since the day I said goodbye and seen many maids in their golden glades beneath the tropic sky. There's a vision in my reverie that I cherish evermore. That grand Colleen in her gown of green, she's the rose of Ironmore. Well, everybody sing this thing. Over the years, many people from Ironmore were forced to emigrate and in some cases, leaving their island homes unattended. But today, many of them have returned and built up new homes, and they're now bringing up their families in those familiar surroundings that they grew up in themselves. Andrew and Mary Early returned from Chicago some years ago, and they now own a pub here in the island where we'll play tonight, and once again, we'll meet all those people who gathered on the pier to greet us this morning as we arrived on our Donegal shore. Oh, I know it's not right Reminiscing tonight Of days that are gone And returning no more For the girl I dream of Has another man's love Far, far away on a Donegal shore. But why should I care? For she's happy or there. She may have children, she may be wealthy or poor. But I can't help my dream. Of what might have been If I stayed at home On my Donegal shore Now it's winter time there All the trees will be bare And the rain clouds will darken My native Guido But if that girl There's no one to blame But before she took his name When she told me she loved him It hurt to the core But I could never descend To be only her friend So I left her there On my dunny The rain clouds will darken my native Guido. But if that girl I could hold, every raindrop would be gold. It could fall all around us 
on my dunny gold shore. But if that girl I could hold, every raindrop would be gold. It could fall all around us on my dunny.